we're here at the Rose Garden, it's right outside the horticulture building, and here we have uh, a large collection, mainly derived from Ralph Moore's breeding work through his 70 years of breeding activity. And they're here because Ralph Moore has donated his varieties as well as his unreleased collections to Texas A&M University. I was particularly excited because it was Ralph Moore, and he had done 70 years of research and breeding for not focusing on the disease aspect of things, but focusing on the horticultural traits. So he developed a wide range of horticultural traits that are just unmatched by just about any breeder in the world. Uh, though he's best known for his breeding in miniatures, and if you look at the about 500 varieties he released during his career, about two-thirds are miniatures. But then there's uh, quite a few of shrubs and hybrid peas and floribundas, so there's a wide range of things he worked on. The program here began in the early 90s when uh, Robert Basie donated uh, his germplasm as well as a established an endowment to help maintain the program. So it was a good match to the basic germplasm, which really emphasized disease resistance and adaptation. So we have the opportunity now to combine these two diverse germplasms into one in our breeding program. What the public likes in the rose, again, it's a wide variety of flowers you see there, different colors, different shapes that can be used in all sorts of gardening situations. Because there's such a wide range of different types. Some look like chrysanthemums. And some are very simple, very attractive. So there's a wide range of things you can do with them, a wide range of situations you can use them to really design your garden and get the colors right. And this is what you see in the breeding of both Ralph Moore and, and Robert Basie. They used a, a multitude of different species to get all the traits they want, and some adaptation as well. And so it, that's what rose breeding is all about, is, is really trying to understand your germplasm in, or your different varieties and see which ones you can combine to get the traits you want all together. And that's, that's always a trick, trying to get everything in one bush. And so that, that's the exciting part of breeding, is, is that you're creating new things all the time. There, there are rose people who will take care of their roses and spray every week religiously, but I think the majority of people don't want to do that. And if you talk to landscapers, by no means. They want to plant it and let it take care of itself. And I think the whole rose industry is beginning to realize that this is where they need to go. Our bottom line has got to be well adapted. And then we, we throw the horticultural traits on that. And so that, that's the approach we're taking to this breeding program.